Herman Sengimana was the spokesperson of the group that calls itself the FNL and joined it after leaving Rwanda in 2014, going to Uganda where he became acquainted with people who were planning to destabilize Rwanda's security. We were first part of a union of parties called MRCD that brought together CNRD, PDR Ihumre, RRM and RID Rwanda Nziza. We then branched into the FNL coalition. The people who had formed MRCD later formed the FNL armed group. After Kalex Savimana, or Sankala as he calls himself, the spokesperson of the FNL group was arrested and extradited back to Rwanda early last year. Herman Sengimana took his place. Another to be shown to the media was Teobar Mutarambirgwa, who left Rwanda in June 2010 and was a secretary general of a breakaway illegal faction of the PS Kuri party, P5, and would recruit new members for FNL. Both are suspected in involvement in terrorist activities that include forming illegal groups, terrorism, joining terrorist groups, planning and inciting others to commit terrorist actions, plotting to harm others, murder, denial of the 1994 Tutsi genocide and more. The men were arrested by Congolese security organs and extradited back to Rwanda in December last year. And Herman Sengimana now says he sees the folly of the things he was involved in. They should abandon what they are doing and return home peacefully. Pass through the Mutobo Demobilization and Reintegration Center like others and join the rest of the population in nation building. I do not believe the things they are dreaming about are attainable anymore. That is my message to them if they can hear me. As for those abroad that support such groups, they should stop because there is nothing left to support. I believe the FNL are no more. The fact that such people, when captured, are allowed to face justice in a court of law and given the opportunity to account for their actions from a legal standpoint has been commended and in itself seen as an effective weapon against propaganda efforts by some that seek to tarnish Rwanda's image. The two are to remain in custody before appearing in court.